Hello friends today i will discuss on the topic inbreeding this topic is very important and generally questions are asked from this topic in ars and different competitive examinations in the last lecture on classification of mating system i already discussed very briefly i discussed the term inbreeding in that class i told that inbreeding is the mating between more closely related individuals than the average relationship between all the individuals in a population the animals are considered as closely related when they have one or more common ancestor in the first four to six generation of their pedigree for example examples are sire and daughter mating brother and sister mating these are example of close mating depending on the closeness of the related individuals inbreeding can be divided in two parts first is close inbreeding and the second is line breeding first i will discuss close inbreeding the close inbreeding is the mating of more closely related individuals like parent of spring mating full sib mating and half sib mating the close breeding or close inbreeding is done for some specific purpose these are important purpose for which close inbreeding is generally done the first is for making to developing highly inbred line the second use is to discover undesirable recessive genes the third use is to get uniform progeny and in this lecture only i will elaborate all these things how to develop inbred lines how inbreeding helps in discovering undesirable recessive genes so all these things will be discussed later on in this lecture only close inbreeding has some disadvantage like inbreeding depression and in this lecture only i will also discuss on inbreeding depression and the second uh, demerit of close inbreeding is intensification of undesirable characteristics now i will discuss the concept of line breeding this concept is very important sometime breeders may like to accumulate genes of some outstanding ancestors in their herd and this is achieved by the system of mating referred to as line breeding line breeding is a system which is designed to maintain a high degree of genetic relationship to an outstanding ancestors while keeping the level of inbreeding low these are few points that must be considered while practicing line breeding the first point is line breeding should be used for pure bred population only and the animal should be very excellent animal so line breeding should be used only for outstanding animal line breeding program line breeding could be used for dead or animals which are not available line breeding could be used for the synthesis of new breed line breeding should be used when the closed herd is better than many other adjacent herd line breeding program should be used when a bull is genetically proven or having very high genetic merit now i will discuss genetic effect of inbreeding the first genetic effect is inbreeding uncovers harmful recessive gene by increasing the frequency of homozygous state the second effect is inbreeding fixes character through increased homozygosity inbred parents are more likely to be prepotent because inbreeding increases homozygosity and particularly in the case of dominant gene the prepotency of the parent increases inbreeding also decreases 
the proportion of heterozygotes so it reduce genetic diversity genetic variability in the population now i will discuss phenotypic effect of inbreeding when the animal are homozygous due to inbreeding in that case there is a reduction in the performance of inbred population and the trait which are mainly affected are fertility survivability and fitness related trait so decline in the performance of inbred over the mean of their parents is generally termed as inbreeding depression and increased inbreeding result in reduced fertility reduced mothering ability reduced viability and growth rate increase in early embryonic mortality and also it causes increase in overall mortality now i will discuss mathematical calculation for the uh, inbreeding depression so friend the uh, population mean for the random mating population is a p minus q plus 2 pqd under inbreeding for inbred population the expression for population mean is a p minus q plus 2 pqd minus 2 pqd and f so the difference between uh, the difference between population mean of uh, inbred population and random mating population which is expressed as inbreeding depression will be minus 2 pqdf so this is the value for inbreeding depression i am again repeating the value for calculating value of inbreeding depression the mathematical expression is minus 2 pqdf here p and q is the allelic frequency here f is inbreeding coefficient and d is degree of dominance so inbreeding depression is depending upon uh, allelic frequency value of inbreeding coefficient and degree of dominance the uh, inbreeding depression value will be highest when p and q value is 0.5 when p equal to q equal to 0.5 in that condition the inbreeding depression will be maximum at the same time with the increase in the value of inbreeding coefficient the value of inbreeding depression will increase and similarly with the increase in degree of dominance your inbreeding depression value will increase now i will discuss a very important concept of prepotency the concept of inbreeding is generally concerned with the concept of prepotency prepotency is the ability of the individual to stamp its characteristic on the offspring and the capacity the capability of prepotency of an individual is increased due to inbreeding and this is happening due to increase in homozygosity of the individual now i will discuss few disadvantages of inbreeding first and the most important is the appearance of undesirable trait due to inbreeding and this is happening because of increased homozygosity inbreeding reduces reproductive efficiency and growth rate inbreeding also reduced vigor and vitality due to inbreeding depression now i will discuss few important uses of inbreeding inbreeding is used for developing new strains or lines inbreeding is also used for selecting against undesirable recessive gene by increasing homozygosity and this is done by mating a sire with 20 or more its daughter if all of his springs are free from recessive gene or recessive trait then in that case we can assume the bull is free from recessive 
gene. In that case, we can use that bull extensively. Inbreeding is also used for increasing prepotency, and it is also used for fixation of desirable trait by increasing homozygosity. Inbreeding is also used for producing uniform progeny. Under certain research, we need large number of uniform type of progeny. For that uh, production, we use inbreeding. Inbreeding is also used for determining the type of gene action. If inbreeding effect is very large, in that case, we can say that the gene action is non-additive. If inbreeding effect are small, in that case, we can say that gene effect, if gene effect is additive. So, friend, this is few uses of inbreeding.